Hello and welcome to CS4010, the structural dynamics and finite element method. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to calculate the natural frequency of a structure or to define the natural angular velocity of vibration of a structure. So first of all, we should clear the memory. So either enter clear and close on. And now I will step into the first part. I need to input the data. So I need to input matrices. And I need to know the degree of freedom first. So I input it and equal to input degree of freedom for the problem. So in here, I'm just trying to input number of masses, number of floor or whatever I can have. And then I declare the mass matrix is equal to zeros of n by n. So in here, I have a set mass matrix. And then I input the number. So I make a loop. And I have mass i i equal to input input mass of element and uh, I have to convert it to string to be printed out. So in here, I just input mass. And that is for the mass matrix. Now, in the next step, I need to declare the matrix of stiffness. So I set stiffness equal to zeros of n by n. So in here, I just declare the matrix of stiffness. And after that, I have to enter the value for the spring between uh, the masses. So I need a hint over here. I just display that if you enter zero, just mean no connection. For example, like this. And I will start input the connection from the mass to the ground first. So, for example, if you have multiple floors, so maybe this may be floor 1 or floor 2 has connection to the ground with columns or won't. Not all of the floors will have, but I will check for all of them. So I do for i equal to 1 to n. And in here I get the stiffness i i equal to input of the stiffness. Uh, so stiffness of connection to ground of element. Now I need to convert it into string element i and yep and that is so in here. I just input the stiffness. Now, apart from the connection to the ground, I also have to connection to check for the connection between floors. 
So I need a double loop over here. So for I equal to 1 to n minus 1. And for j equal to i plus 1 to n. Okay, so this way I can check over all connections. Yep, now I have my k equal to input and in here I have the stiffness of connection between element elements now num to string element i and element j so num to string of j and that is okay is that a quick note here should be input so let's take it like before okay all good now after I input the stiffness I need to set it into the global matrix of stiffness I declared before right over here so I need to get my stiffness I I equal to stiffness I I plus K and I need for the whole local matrix of stiffness should be I J J I J J and this one should be J J I hang on J I I J and I I and for this one it will be minus yep so that's the way how I add the local stiffness add the local matrix of stiffness to the global matrix yep so it is the same like I do here but in here because the ground doesn't move so therefore I cross the first three row I have only the JJ which is actually I in here the last row in here yep but in here all of the elements move so therefore I need to add the whole local matrix of stiffness into the global one yep so that is for the input and now I will try to calculate the natural angular velocity of vibration so if I have vibrations I need to solve for the natural angular velocity uh, and I use the icon value of the matrix so please check with your lectures in short I can have it equal to V D W equal to eigenvalue of stiffness and mass so this way I'm going to solve for the matrix form of the equations and I'm going to have my omega which is a natural angular velocity of vibration equal to diagonal of the matrix D to power of 0 0.5
Yep. So you can see it's right here. We try to solve for the omega r square, and it's formed from this that must be equal to zero. So we try to find the eigenvalue for these matrices, and I can find the omega from the d. Yep. And I have my now I can solve for eigenvalue. This is a solution for eigenvalues. That's a generalized one, not the particular one, generalized eigenvalue. And in here, I try to get the natural angular velocity of the vibration. Yep. And after that, I can maybe you don't need to, but if you want, you can solve for the model matrices. So I have k equal to uh, the amplitude transpose matrix of amplitudes times by the stiffness times by the matrix of amplitudes. So it's equal to V transpose time by the stiffness and time by V. So this is a model stiffness matrix of stiffness. And the similar thing I can have for the mass M equal to V transpose time by mass time by V. If you try to normalize the V, you will have um, the model matrix for the amplitudes. Okay, so that is. Now, I just try to uh, do a quick uh, check about the work of this one. Is it, did I make any mistake during the time? So, uh, let's try to run. Okay, so I think I made it. Mm, the wrong name for the file. So let's change the name to natural frequency with F capitalized. Yeah, run. Yeah, all good. Now, for example, I enter the natural frequency of freedom is two. I have two story building and mass of element. First one should be seven tone. Second one should be five tone. For example, like that. And Stiffness to connection of graph element 1, I put it to mega newton meter. Second floor doesn't have connection to the ground. And stiffness between them must be 1e6, for example, like that. Okay, so I have all of my value over here. Mm. Yeah. Now I check the stiffness matrix first. Yet it's simple to me. The mass matrix is simple to me, and the eigenvalue is just the solution of this one. So I just MATLAB do it well. Now I just edit this one a little bit. So in here, I think I make a semicolon. That's why it should be colon. Now. I just do a quick study on this one. Now I will try to do the deformation study. So I will try to have a force uh, a force in term of F equal to F0 time by cosine of omega t something like this i apply a cyclic force to my structure and i try to see what is the amplitude of the vibration can it get into the resonance so i have the in 
the infinite weak uh, amplitude, amplitude of vibrations and I don't want to change my data so I just comment out this part and this part as well I don't need this one anymore because I already have the value over here I don't want to clear them okay so for this one for example I make my force equal to zeros of n by one so at the beginning I set up the force vector set the force vector yeah and for example I need to change a value if I don't have force I don't have any vibration so I get force 1 equal to 1 mega newton for example like that and then I set a range of the omega I want it to run from some to something else so I have my omega equal to the step from 0 to 1.5 of the maximum uh, angular velocity so max of w I have before and let's choose a step for this so for example I will it be max of w divided by 100 so this way I will have about 151 uh, steps yeah now I try to declare my uh, amplitude matrix so my x equal to zeros of n and length of omega yeah here i just change set of force for vibration and in here i just declare the range of frequency or maybe angular velocity for load for the cyclic load yep and in here I just declare the storage for amplitude vector yep now I try to solve for amplitude vector so I try to get this one first for i equal to 1 to length of omega so I will try to calculate for every single omega and now I have my x equal to the amplitude vector equal to the steepness minus mass times by omega square and this is will be divided by the force so inverse vector times by force will be equal to this symbol backward slash okay so in here I calculate um, vector of amplitude yep now after I have calculated it I have to plot it out so I need to set the limit because it can go to infinite bit so I need to set the limit for y y lim will be from 0 uh, maybe I could have some negative value for amplitude because it can go to the other side so maybe minus 10 to 10 yep and hold on okay now I will try to plot all of the series for the amplitude so for i equal to 1 to n and I'm trying to uh, plot 
uh, omega n x i okay in here I set a new figure or I create a new figure okay now in here I'm uh, set y range for the plot and in here I tell my MATLAB that I will keep drawing on the same figure no data clear runs okay and in here I just try to plot the amplitude of mass i with various omega yep uh, I may need a legend for that so for example I got like text uh, I Uh, equal to sprint five for the mass uh, and then I need a variable here and I set it to be i so this way I can convert it into a string for the legend text later so this is going to be at legend text letter and at the end I got legend equal to the legend text yep I think it's all good to me let's see how it works okay I made a mistake right over here Okay, omega is a vector, so therefore I need to specify the omega i. Yep, done. Okay, so you can see over here, I have two masses, mass 1 and mass 2, and here is the amplitude of vibration with the cyclic force for the first mass, and here is for the second mass. And you know, when it comes to the natural angular velocity, so it will get the resonance, the cyclic loss has the same frequency with the structural natural frequency. So therefore, the amplitude will go infinite big or infinite low for this one. And in here, it will have something like that for the second frequency, natural frequency. You know, every single structure, it, it has n degree of freedom. It should have and natural frequency for the vibrations yep i hope my tutorial help you a bit to understand how to determine the natural angular velocity for structure for the frequency you just convert it by the formula given in the lecture thank you very much for your attention and see you next time